In the slide above, you look at the definitions of P and the BR tag. Now we're going to put those definitions to work. Reiterating the concepts, the P tag is used for paragraphing and BR tag is used for break row. The difference between the BR and the paragraph is that when you enclose certain text in paragraph, you would see a line, empty line above and below the paragraph. As far as the BR, you are going to see lines back to back and there would not be any empty line between the two lines. Now, also remember that uh, when you're working with HTML editors, just hitting enter does not mean that you have inserted a break row. Let's see, we, uh, let's for example have a look at line number 16 and line number 18. Between line number 16 and line number 18, I've en hit enter twice, so look at the paragraph below. How cluttered does that look? That's a bad coding practice. And the line, now look at the code above and good coding practice are separated by two enter keys. But if you look at the output, you will going to notice that both of these lines appear on the same line, as we can see over here. The reason they appear on the same line because hitting enter in the editor does not implement BR as far as the HTML goes. So in order to put them on different lines, I would have to go back to editor and I have to insert a BR which will going to insert a break row between these two lines. After I save my changes, I can go to preview and now you will going to notice that look at the paragraph below and now look at the code above appear on two different lines, but they're back to back. They don't have any spaces between them. There's no blank line between them. Unlike the text that I placed inside a paragraph, look at that. Now these two lines which are inside paragraph have blank lines above and below them. So this is how you would use a paragraph and BR tag in your HTML program.